In Pennsylvania Dutch country, Amish farms stretch as far as the eye can see. In Strasbourg, it's the railroad which reminds us we really are in the 20th century. But you'll find that both the simpler time and our modern time coexist comfortably here at a place called the Choo Choo Barn. The Choo Choo Barn houses more than a model train layout. It houses 1,700 square feet of fantasy. There are more than 135 animated figures that bring this layout to life. There's a baseball game, and the winning run is on third while the pitcher is in the stretch. The circus is in town, and there's excitement under the big top. The zoo is open, and the elephants are on display. And the giant giraffes are in a stretch of their own. See the death-defying acts of the daredevils that fly high on the trapeze. The Amish barn building appears to be going smoothly. The men work and sweat. The women get the lunch ready. It's very busy in Strasbourg, where the trains arrive and depart at the station eight hours a day, every day. Wait a minute, call for help, there's a fire. But all will be safe. This major tourist attraction was 50 years in the making, ever since hometown boy George Groff decided the simple layout he put together for his kids in 1945 was growing out of control and attracting more visitors than one house and one family could handle. In 1961, he moved his trains here to what was then just an old barn. Actually, he didn't re move the layout per se, but he built a, a layout here, uh, 500 square feet with six trains and six animations, and opened up the Choo Choo Barn on Thanksgiving Day of 1961. Uh, well, little did we know that you know things would, would continue this long, but over the next, well, now we're going into our 35th year, uh, here at the Choo Choo Barn. We've never moved. We've stayed in the same building. Um, we, like I said, we started with six trains. We now have 17 trains. We started with six animated figures. We now have over 135 different little animated figures and vehicles all over the display. Some of the scenes are decades old. Some are brand new. But all are close to home. The interesting you know, part about our display is we use a lot of local color We've been able to take a model railroad display and theme it to Lancaster County. And on our layout, you'll see uh, a miniature of Dutch Wonderland, which is an amusement park here in Lancaster County, a miniature of uh, the Red Caboose Lodge, a miniature of Strasburg Railroad. We have an Amish barn raising. We have the typical uh, Amish uh, horse and buggies all over the layout. And of course, at one spot, we have the horse and buggy with uh, a row of seven cars behind it like you'll see in just about any road around here in Lancaster County. All the motors and electrical parts are underneath the layout. All the animations are handmade and each has an individual motor. The whole idea of, a, of an animation is first you got to come up with an idea obviously and then after that idea um, mushrooms about 55 times you end up with a finished product and my original idea was to make a playground with, obviously, a merry-go-round, a swing, and two seesaws, okay, which is basically like this. Okay? It's all driven by one motor, and as you can well see underneath, okay, it's just a series of cams coming up. The motor um, is geared here, and a series of cams that runs the swing and the two seesaws and the motor, its shaft itself, runs the merry-go-round. Uh, my background is basically, I guess, a, uh, a tinker and a model railroader of sorts. Um, I don't have any kind of engineering degree or electrical degree of any kind. Uh, I just love to tinker. I read a lot of, of uh, magazines and books on mechanics and electronics. And I don't know a lot about electronics. I can follow a wiring diagram somewhat, but I tinker. 
Is this something that any talented and committed model railroad enthusiast could build himself? Sure, if you have the determination, desire, and the 50 years it takes to do it.